I'll start with an honest uh, truth. I never grew up as somebody passionate about climate crisis. I was probably 10 or 12 years old when I was introduced to the idea of climate change, probably in a textbook with some definitions of what climate change means, how glaciers are melting, why I need to care about. But all I could do about that information is cram it up, write it in my examinations in an attempt to pass. But I realized that while I'm engaging with the idea of climate change, it's all very abstract. Things started to change when I turned 20 and stumbled upon a Netflix documentary called Inconvenient Truth by Al Gore. Now, when I realized that storytelling is how uh, I actually understand what climate crisis is and it really helps me understand and relate with it, I further dig down into what is storytelling and why is it the most powerful tool to understand mammoth issues like climate crisis. So then what happened when I started to understand humanizing climate issue, I volunteered with so certain social impact organizations and I visited Dharavi, Asia's largest slum in India. And I happened to meet a girl like her, Ruchi. Ruchi was a 16 year old girl uh, who used to travel, wake up at 5.30 a.m., travel a kilometer or two to fill up a bu bucket of water that she could use to defecate in the open because she has no access to clean and healthy toilets. So when I realized that it's actually humans like us, people like us who are impacted by an issue like climate crisis, I actually started to engage with it. So then I realized that climate change is not just an issue for all of us. It's a very intersectional issue. What intersectionality means is that if you care about women, climate change becomes a feminist issue because women are disproportionately impacted by climate change. If you care about racial justice, climate change becomes worse for you because it is impacting those who cause it the least. So I realized that storytelling and stories are key leverage points that help us navigate through issues like story, uh, like climate crisis. Now, how do we use storytelling? How do we leverage the power of digital platforms to uh, understand climate crisis? One way to do that is to localize the issue, contextualize it, and use certain personal or cultural references. This, what you see, is an image from a sports arena. So I'm sure that all of you know about Olympics, you're passionate about sports, some of you would have been glued to your TV watching FIFA World Cup. Now, what happens here when we talk about storytelling is that we try to see that if we continue impacting our climate and we continue destroying the planet the way we are, probably this is what Olympics is going to look like. So this is a campaign by World Wildlife Fund where we very systemically use storytelling as a tool to really make the audience understand the impact of climate change. What this is also helping us do is understand that climate and environment is not the environment, but my environment. What that means is that we are all living in the environment and when we talk about impacting it, we should really refer to it and understand, localize it as a problem impacting me, problem impacting us. So from that it becomes an over there problem to a me problem. And we realize that it's all 8 billion of us who are a part of it and who need to work towards climate change. The other way that we realize we can work towards climate change through storytelling is to really localize it and use certain personal references. What that means is that if you think about the kind of issues you have in your life. Now, if I want to travel from here back to Gurgaon, at nine in the night, I'll probably think about my safety, I'll think about the time, I'll think about multiple issues and I might end up taking a cab. Because 
we all have so many things to care about environment may take may not be a priority for all of us however if we start looking at, at environment as a life issue we start talking about it in ways that are really personal to us we begin understanding and acting towards it so if you think about environment as the fact that you may not be able to access a clean glass of drinking water your child may not be able to go to school safely that's when you start internalizing climate change as an issue the other third very interesting way of uh, understanding climate change and using the power of storytelling is to use certain social media tools which a lot of young people today are harnessing so this that you see is a, a campaign called beat plastic pollution wherein we use very interesting formats such as you know things that uh, are called hashtags where we invite people to not just be a part of the campaign not just watch it but actually share actually engage with it wherein we ask them to share how they want to beat the plastic pollution so campaigns like this where we make it participatory where we invite people to really come and engage with us help us make it simple make it more uh, global i genuinely believe that creativity and storytelling can change the world we need to all of us here a billion of us need to realize that we are all storytellers you do not have to be a climate expert you do not have to be a professional if you want to talk about climate change i believe that all of us have a voice all of us can start a conversation and uh, we all have a creative mind it's just about understanding relating contextualizing the issue that's all for me